Alright, so she's basically telling us what we already figured out. Um, yes, the next area is going to be underwater. Which means we're actually going to be going through the areas we haven't... And he's also selling the um, next uh, level of potions, so we want that. I will tell you how to get the money for necessary for the Soul Eater Ring, which is what we are definitely needing. So let's try out beer right now. Uh, we can't really do anything about the money yet. We won't get be able to get that ring until near end game. Um, in fact, you could actually beat the game without even getting that much money. Uh, very easily, in fact. Um, but we're going to be... I'll be showing you guys how to. Now, where do I want to go first? Oh yeah, I want to show off that area. So... Let's see here. We don't want to go down. We want to go up. Now, the reason why I like beer is because it constantly protects you. Though, every once in a while, something can get through. But it doesn't matter, because they only do one damage. So, I can just walk around without doing anything. Basically, I like beer because I'm lazy. To put it bluntly. And it's not that hard to recharge it. I mean, it even kills an axe armor in a couple of seconds. You know, if it's something that your uh, soul cannot, your beer cannot handle, I mean, of course, that doesn't mean we still have to freaking use the flying armor because we still can't fly because we're just not that awesome. Shut up, Skull Archer. Nobody likes you. Obviously, the strength of your weapon does not affect how much damage your, uh, your normal attack abilities do. Now, anyway, am I going the right way? Uh, yes, I think I am. Yeah, I'm going the right way. God, I love that ability. Use the force. I can't believe I just made that reference. I am such a nerd. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. Uh, let's continue on. Yes, I still get lost, even though I should not be getting lost in this area. But I do. And there's arachnids and skeletons that want to give us their heads because they are such good hosts like that. You think there'd be more important stuff than dance hall, but it really isn't. I'm going the right way, right? Yes, I'm going the right way. Ugh, it's so easy to get lost here. Now, Minotaurs are just nothing compared to us and our awesome sword. This isn't the best sword in the game, though. No, there are much better swords later on. In fact, we have the ability... We'll soon have the ability to get some of the best sword in the game. Now, this is the Perisperone. I already got the soul here because I was exploring, as I told you. Now, the Perisperone is actually your first healing ability. It basically, it's rather funny, you actually drain the life out of enemies with a skull vacuum and that gives you hit points. It's not that good, I don't like it, it's not my favorite. There are actually in my, I think, I consider there to be, ahem, I consider there to be three, oh, wow, I did not even know that was here. Um, wow, I, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, there you go. High potion. I already have nine high potions, so it doesn't matter for me. It's not like I can do anything with it. I did not know that was there. Um, I will be showing off 100% map completion as a kind of a bonus episode. Um, I will be exploring the areas I haven't shown on camera, and I will be showing them to you. Because I'm just that nice, and I know some of you are like OCD and want 100% aren't. Okay, now this is an annoying witch. I hate them. Yeah, I kicked the cat. Any DM can go to hell. Just saying. 
Now, anyway, um, as you can see, we're not quite there yet. I still have now not obtained the Curly Soul. I am insulted by the fact that I have not obtained the Curly Soul. Uh, we want Undine on for this. Go up here. Now, honestly, I don't think you're supposed to be able to get to the area that I'm going to just yet. Or if you are able to, I think you're supposed to do it another way. Not the way that I'm doing it. I can't even remember what Nemesis gives me, personally. But that's not the point. Alright. This is the way you're supposed to get here normally, I assume. Uh, really isn't anything majorly interesting here. Uh, there's witches, of course, if you haven't noticed, and... God, I hate witches. There's actually a little bit of a sneak peek into the... final area. You can remember the music the same here, but you can't actually do anything here because you can't go up that passageway. You can't fly. You're not Jesus. You're not bird Jesus. Anyway, this is how you get to here. There's nothing but creepy dolls down there. And we are at the 20 minute mark. Alright. So we've basically showed this off. Um, ninja. That's Ninja right there. You know that's Ninja right there. Ah, fuck you, cat. I wanted to karate kick it. Now, anyway, uh, you can get the Lilith soul around here as well. This is the Lilith. Now, the Lilith is the one half of the succubi family in this game. There's actually an actual succubus that you can get. The Lilith is just basically, it has a normal attack. It doesn't really have a grab move like the succubus does. Which, of course, you can may assume the succubus drains your life, and it's not really erotic like it is in some games. Cough, cough, pornography, I mean, fan service, I mean, uh, never mind. Hold on. I gotta check something really quickly. Does anyone else see that square that to the bottom right of me that just seriously looks like a freaking secret room? I'm not the only one there, right? I mean, I can't be the only one who's like, wow, this looks like a secret room. It's not, though. Okay, so she can throw kisses at you. That's fine. She can throw kisses at me, poison all she wants to. No pedo touching. Pedo bear. Well, I don't know. I guess maybe I have to go downstairs to get it. I'm not going to bother with it too much. It's not that important. Anyway. Ooh, we got a scar. We need to put on our Ghost Dancer soul. Just for right now, at least. Alright. Now, this is how I got here, and I know this is definitely not the correct way you're supposed to, but you can actually go this way. All you need is the flying armor. Now, if you time your jumps exactly correctly, you will actually make it up here. And it took me a little while to do that, but I actually pulled it off, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe you can actually do that. But that's not the point. Let's continue onward. While we still have time. I kind of don't want to risk going over 30 minutes, because I'm not exactly sure how far my Camtasia Studio will actually record to without much problems. So we're going to be stopping at the 30 minute mark, like usual. 
which is actually a lot faster, longer than I used to. I mean, I used to only do about 10 minutes, but now I do 30 minutes, because I'm just that awesome. Uh, I know, who am I kidding, but, um... Alright, we're gonna go this way first. I don't know which is exactly is the way we're supposed to go. I don't really think it matters either way. Uh, while we're here... Let's see if we can get the Killer Fish Soul. This is the one time the Killer Fish Soul will actually be useful to you. The Killer Fish Soul is basically a one-hit kill underwater. But it's absolutely useless otherwise. I don't know, I think you can still use your other abilities underwater, so it doesn't matter. And here we got the underground reservoir. Reservoir? Reservoir? I don't know what the correct word for this is, but I'm just going with reservoir. Um, basically, this is the water dungeon. Got some fish heads. Ah, freaking bloody imps. Stop touching me. Now, we want... It's it's just as bad as the other one, I swear. Uh, now, we want to put on Undine. That's how you basically are going to navigate this area, is by using Skola and Undine. So it's, yes, it's just as bad as a water temple, basically. So here we go. Wonder what's this way. Oh, gel. It's in. Gotta love gelatin. By love, I mean I absolutely hate gelatin. Now, this isn't the poisonous slime, I think. There's a purple slime. I think that's the poisonous slime. I'm not sure. This is where you would grind for the killer fish soul. If you don't already have it. Basically, you can just continuously walk in there and, well, he'll completely keep respawning and blah, 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 and stop respawning or reproducing or whatever. I don't care. You're annoying. Stop it. Oh, no, this is the poisonous version. Huh. It doesn't matter. Save. We'll run around for a little longer. Yeah, let's run around for a little longer. Oh, look, it's the big golem. And you saw that little flash? That is a soul, actually. Um, a monster. We can't get it. Uh, for quite some time uh, because obviously it's way too fast for us now here's the main part of the reservoir I absolutely hate this area by the way those of you who hate water dungeons I'm with you I hate water dungeons I hate them I hate them I hate them I hate them I especially hate this area this area sucks but that's not the point. I just got poisoned. My name's Axel Sims. There's a Mandragora here. I hate Mandragoras. I hate them. And this is my... Oh, I hate this area the most of this entire place. I hate, hate this place. Hate, 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 hate. Here we got some dryads and some poisonous worms. 
Now the problem with the apples is, well obviously they drain your health.